Sunday morning. Let's see if this early bird can get the worm. Let's see what they got today. All right, guys, I see a case. It's M case, so you know how uh, stubborn this one is. I'm ready. All right, let's see, what do we got? I don't, I don't know if it's fresh or not. Someone went through it. Maybe it is fresh. Let us see, what do we got? Nope. Nope. M case is the hardest to catch any supers. Hold on, what's this one? Ah, main line. This might be a dud. All right, let's see, which one is this? MX Skybusters, this one. Go ahead and open it up and see. All right, so we got more of these. Go ahead and hang these up. God, that thing is so clean. All right, I don't need any of these because I have a full set. It's not gonna last long, guys. It's okay. Alright, so there's that. Let's go ahead and restock some of this. We got the treasure hunt. What else do we got? Tesla Cyber Truck. I think the craze of those is dying down God. if I can score one more super before I leave that would be nice all right this one's full let's go ahead and get my knife let's go restock some other pegs we'll go ahead and do that Another Civic Porsche Taycan. If only, if only, if only. I don't know why M case is so hard to get your hands on, or at least the supers go. These are the hardest cases to win over. All right, let's see. Bottom row. All right. Let's see if we can put this box on any of their carts. Because I don't want to just leave this in the aisle. There's a dump bin. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything in this. guys fries number two okay nothing really just a huge mess there's absolutely nothing man this place is due for a new drop so definitely got to stay on it all right guys we are at fries and look at what we got. Kroger exclusive. Oh man. All right guys, this is actually super stocked. So we're gonna have to really look through this. Oh man, I am stoked. All right, you got 510. Go through these carefully. I don't know when they restocked this, but it looks super fresh. Oh, wait, there we go. Got the white FD. Nice. Alright, let's 
see what else. Got the Copo. <laughs> okay, I don't see anything down there. Alright, let's go ahead and move our way up. Got another treasure hunt. All right, we're gonna have to really dig through here, guys. And it's every time, because I was almost not going to come here, but my wife needed creamer for her coffee. I thought, you know what, let me just go into this fries. And I am glad I did. Okay, so you got some carryover colors and casts. Let's move this over. It's Black Civic, the Porsche, it's the GR. Nothing in this one, but let's go ahead and move everything over because it makes hunting that much better. Right. Hope to at least find out. There we go. Nice. I think that's all three of the Kroger exclusives. Here, boom. There we go. At least get duplicates of everything. You got the Skyline, haven't seen that one in a while. It's another GR, another Launcher. All right, so that makes two of everything. So you got two Launchers, two Cyclones, and then two FDs. Oh. Ooh, this is the orange series one. Oh, there we go. Bet the Porsche's gone. Yeah. But at least we got the Torino. And I wonder when they dropped this. It's another Christmas series. Ooh, look at that charger. Take that. Ford Fairlane. It's kind of sweet. They actually have its own stand. Nice. I already have the Volkswagen. I don't need another. Alright. So we're getting these guys. I'm gonna run over this one more time just to double check, but man, that is sweet to get my hands on the Kroger exclusives. Nice. All right, guys, so I'm actually taking out um, all the cars that are in these boxes. That way I can make some more room of singles. So as you can see, I got the drift cars right here. You got the Falcon Mustang. You got the Roger Dodger. All these ID cars um, that I just usually keep in the box. But check this out, guys. I just pulled this one out. It's the Ford Escort RS 1600. But check this out. Look at that. You have a mainline wheel on an ID car. Talk about a super cool error. One that I would have never known unless I pulled it out of the box. All right, guys, another day at Fry's. Let's see what they got. What do they got today? Okay, it looks like they got the Chevelle and the Nova. Couple fresh castings since yesterday, but nothing, nothing I didn't see. God. Well. This was looking good. Let's clean this up. Clean up after yourself. 
put these back because apparently they don't know how to clean those either. Alright guys, fries number two. This is normally my good one, so let's see what they got this weekend. Hopefully they got those new shippers in. We'll see. Alright, I think I see some exclusives. Right off the bat, got some exclusives. Cards are not in the best shape. Ooh, there we go. Got the black regal. Nice. Let's see what else do they got? Um, let's get another launcha. Oh, there we go. All right, so hunting for a couple people. Definitely need to complete my two sets that I have. This is starting a whole new one. All right, so let's see. This is the thing about hunting for people, guys, is trying to find them all. Got another launcha. Of course, all the cyclones are probably gone, which is understandable because that is a beautiful color and uh, wheel variation for that cast. But at least I got my hands on the Regal. Okay, let's go see what's down the main aisle. Kinda highly doubt it. Yeah, no cyclones. Got a whole bunch of these. Yeah. No chases. Let's see, what do we got here? It's basically it. So, a bunch of M2 haulers. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Of course, all the Good Fast and the Furious ones are gone. All right, on to the next. We got more over here. Nice, got the Porsches. Got a few of those. Don't need those. Ooh, there we go. Definitely a good one. And then I think that was the last one I needed. Yep. Cool, so we'll grab another Porsche. You see the two base variations. You got the blue chrome and the regular chrome. So there's the base variation. Nice. So base variation Porsche, Escort, and a couple exclusives for some buddies. So there we go. All right, here we go. We have some goodies. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you what I found over the past week in this bag. And then check this out, an M2 chase piece that my coworker gave me. Um, just thought it was absolutely sweet. Look at that. Now, if you guys remember, I did pick up the mainline M2 hauler set of this same deco. And it's just, man, that is awesome. 750 piece, you got the gold wheels, the gold details on the Boss 429 right there. God, that is sweet. Oh man, when he came in and handed this to me, I had to ask him like, dude, do you know what you're giving me? And he's like, yeah, I know what it is, but I figured you wanted it and you don't have it in your collection. And I just thought that was so sweet. So there we go, guys. Didn't get to find it on my own, but he scored it at our local fry. So I was definitely stoked for that. Then we actually have a bag of goodies from Kevin Moss uh, that was given the King Nut. And I think there is a racer for the tower so we'll be getting to that in just a second but check this out guys i found some goodies over the past week i just didn't get to film much of it first ever green light greenie in the wild check it out you got the green base the green wheels look at that it's a 2001 ford crown victoria from dexter now i'm not a huge fan of collecting any of these style castings um, I do like police cars and all that stuff, but it's just not for me. But I definitely wanted to grab this as a trade piece, so hopefully I can get something 
in exchange for this. But yeah, we'll see. Doesn't end there. Found the first Chase Bugatti Heritage series out of the Micro Machines. Check that out. Super stoked they actually have the license for this. But you do have the Bugatti Type 35 in chrome. Then you got the Bugatti EB110 Super Sport, which we've seen Hot Wheels release in the blue cast. New for 2021. And then right here you got the Bugatti Devo in that light gray and baby blue that we saw Matchbox release. So I think that is super sweet. Now it's a rare. I wonder what the ultra rare is going to look like if they do have an ultra rare for the Bugatti set. Um, but it's good to see the licensing back for some cars like this. The other ones are just fantasy castings. I know they have a Chevy set with the C10s. So I hope I find that one. But that was pretty cool. Wasn't going to pass it up. A lot of people aren't a fan of it. But I was not going to let a Bugatti Heritage Series stay on the shelf. Next up, I found the full Slide Street Series. Check this out, guys. So the first one, number one out of the series, is the Nissan Silvia S14 with the Formula Drift Deco. Check that out. Got the nice carbon fiber hood, the Hot Wheels FD right there on the front. Really good headlight and grille detail. Check that out. Got the black five spokes. God, those are nice. Coming around the back, look at that detail, guys. Such a beautiful looking cast. Not the best looking livery. It's probably the weakest out of the full set. I definitely do like this. So this is number one of the five FD cars right here. Number two is the beautiful 2020 Toyota GR Supra. Now, a lot of people don't like this for some reason, but I think this is probably the cleanest looking setup in this series. Check that out, guys. You have the white enamel, you have the Gretti Deco, you got the black and white half stripes on there, the Toyota, just looking so good. Look at that. Look at those LED headlights. Just a clean setup overall. And then coming around the back, you have the nice tail lights, the bumper vents, the bumper holes. Check that out, guys. Look at that. God, that is fresh. All right, number three is the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Treno. This one is also a nice casting. You got the four spoke in gold. And then I love the headlight detail. Look at that. You got the yellow fog lights, the ambers. TRD front plate it is wrapped in white enamel with the red and yellow stripes. Look at that detail. God, this is a very nice set. The card art is nice. So that is number three. Number four is the Pandem Subaru BRZ. Check out this Falcon livery. Now this is one livery that never looks bad on any car, but I think it did the Subaru some justice. Check out the tail lights. You got the Gretti license plate. You got the nice gray 10 spokes. And then of course, coming around the front, you got the nice yellow tinted headlights, the front bumper holes. Definitely do like this one a lot. Last but definitely not least is the 2020 Mustang RTR Spec 5. Look at this. So I do have two of these. King Knight actually gave me one. I have it loose. It is my pocket car. But man, check out that livery. You have almost like a carbon fiber meets cyber style livery. You got the blue oval, the cane in, multiple sponsors on there. And these lime green tin spokes just pop. Look at that, guys. Nice tail light detail. You got the Nitto. And coming around the front, you have the lime green grill outline with the fog lights, yellow tinted glass. Just a super, super clean mustang right here so i definitely hope to see the spec 5 in the basic main lines but i don't know if we'll see more of it but if we do i think it's going to be a great addition but there we go guys the full slide street series i have found probably four sets of these but these are actually pretty expensive because they were seven bucks a piece next up this one is from king nut um, he was actually able to get his hands on the r34 check this out guys now this is from the Fast and the Furious Fast Superstars, probably one of the best ones out of this whole series. Um, I do have the 70 Chevelle SS, which was given in a package. And then next up is the GR Super, which I do have over there. But this one is hands down 
the best one out of that full series. Look at that legendary blue right here. God, look at that tail light detail. It's just, you can never go wrong with the premium, guys. Just a beautiful casting. So huge thanks to Kingnut for hooking me up with one of those. Right here is the GR Super. I think this is probably the ugliest and worst quality car to come out of the Mattel's premium lineup. Look at that. Tampos are real blurred and kind of splotchy. Not crisp at all. And I don't know why they went with a satin orange when the car itself isn't satin. But you can see how the picture looks kind of tattered. I don't know what they were going with on there. If it was like a water, like a water paint type of graphic. It kind of carried over onto the cast because it's not crisp at all. Um, but it still looks good from far, just far from good. So definitely not one of my favorites, but I didn't want to leave it on the pegs because I do like collecting a lot of the Fast and Furious cars. And then next up, guys, you saw I got my hands on the Kroger exclusives. Check this out. The 91 Cyclone in the new yellow enamel. Look at that. Out of the Hot Wheels Turbo, but a nice Kroger exclusive right here. You have the Cyclone and GMC truck tampos, the tail lights, and then they actually switched it up and threw the black PR5s on this one. Now, a lot of people are a fan of this wheel change, but I thought the RA6 wheels looked pretty good on it, but it's still an awesome looking truck. So there's that one. The next one is the FD Custom 18 Ford Mustang in white enamel. Check this one out. Got the black MC5s with the red chrome trim in the back and the gray MC5s up front. Same wheel setup we've seen on the prior castings. And then you have the black hood and red base. But look at that, guys. <laughs> I am so stoked I found this one. I was really trying to get my hands on these before I left Arizona and go to South Dakota because, man, I'm going to miss having the Kroger exclusives. Then we have the Lancia Delta Integrale in red. Look at that. Got the nice white 10 spokes, which they've had on all the castings, and I think it's a really, really good color choice um, and wheel choice, but you do have the same Michelin Deco with the Rally. I believe it's still number seven. I'm gonna have to look, but definitely a cool casting and recolor for the Kroger exclusive. Now, I only found the three out of the four, the fourth one being the Black Regal, um, but I did pick up a second set. Um, this is not for me, this is actually for a buddy of mine. I did pick up another three of this one. Now, the cards are not in good condition. As you see, they are a little warped. There we go, so two of these three. And then I found the Holiday Series. Check this out, you got the 15 Dodge Charger RT. I thought that was really cool that they have these licensed cars for the Holiday Set. There you go, you got a nice satin metallic silver, the black, gold, and gray hockey stripes on the side, and then you do have the white wheels and the black Y5s. I think it looks kind of good, actually. Of course, it's supposed to simulate driving in the snow. Definitely a cool series. Um, I only found that one and this one right here, the 66 Ford 427 Fairlane. Look at that nice gold metallic, also a satin finish. Then you have the striping on the side, the white half stripes. Got the snowman with the Hot Wheels flame. And then the gold MC5s with the white tire and gold base. Now, I think these would look so good if they were wheel swapped, but there we go. So the cars in this series are the Ford Escort, the Avant Garde, the Charger, and the Carbonator. So I really only want the Ford Escorts along with the other two that I have. Um, so definitely keep your eyes out. Fries and Kroger's are getting these. And then, of course, they finally got the 53rd Orange Series, but this was the only one in the display, the 69 Ford Torino. Talladega in this beautiful burnt orange metallic. Look at that. You got the blue number 53, the white and blue striping, the black OH5s with the blue chrome trim. So definitely another awesome piece to add to the collection. But that is what I have found over the past week or so. So moving on to the bag from Kevin Moss. Let's see what we got. First one up is the race car. Uh oh, here we go. Check this out. You got the Shadow Jet. 
out of the 2007 Easter Egg Clusives. Nice. Now this has a lot of weight to it and I definitely feel like it's going to be a really good race contender. But check that out. You got a nice burnt orange metallic, some crazy Easter Egg Deco. You got the gold five spokes all the way around and the yellow tinted canopy. Now this thing is probably going to be fast guys. Check this out. Nice. This is definitely going to be a really good race contender. So there we go. Next up is another racer. Here we go, Race Me. So this one's his second race car. And this is the Max Steel Turbo Racer. Check this out. Very interesting looking casting. It almost looks like those flying hunter drones from Terminator with wheels. Check that out. Got the off-road meaty wheels in the back and the OH5s up front. This nice white enamel. So I'm very curious on this one actually to see how well this does against the lineup. So awesome. We got two racers right here. So back to back cars for Kevin Moss. Nice. All right, next up. Ooh, here we go. We got the Panos GTR1. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. You got a dark blue metallic. You got the 2390 right there on the side and the red flame and stripe graphics. And I love these white OH5s, look at that. It does have the staggered fitment, large in the rear, small up front, and then the nice Hot Wheels flame deco on the fenders, but look at that. God, that is a beauty, love it. All right, next up, ooh, we got the Matchbox and California Special. Now I do have one of these. But I am going to open this one up because this is a nice casting. I do have the green metallic one opened right here, which I got loose. So I might have this one sitting with it. So awesome. Ooh, look at that. The Thomas Sema 3. That's how you say it. That is a crazy looking casting. Check that out. Got the nice red metallic chrome base, chrome PR5s. Really nice casting details. No tampos. I think this would look good if it had some headlight details because look at that. Almost gives you a Ferrari type of vibe. That is very streamlined. It's 2001st edition. Nice. It's collector number 70 out of 2000. That is nice. Never seen this casting before. Next up, what do we got? Ooh, we got a final run. Ooh, this is another Tomasima 3 final run. Check that out. Now this deco looks cool. I love the black enamel. You got the chrome five spokes all the way around. Then the red canopy with the chrome interior. Check out that flame work. Nice. Love how it transitions from yellow into red. There we go. Collector number 71 out of 2005. So this is only a five year ran car. Look at that. That is nice. Next up, ooh, check this out. The old surfing school bus. Man, this is nice. Now we have seen this released over the past year, but man, this is nice. It's heavy too, look at that. Love the red line wheel, dark maroon and black just looks so good. Look at that. Number one of five out of the Red Line series. Number 96 out of 2005. But this is one sweet looking bus. Look at that, guys. God, that's nice. Next up. Oh, here we go. We got the Deuce Roadster. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. Love the military green and trigger happy Nathan. Look at that. Good old American Bald Eagle right there. The number three. Got the chrome five spokes. Check that out. I have never seen this casting before. And it is out of the Flying Aces. Number 77. Nice. Definitely love that. You got the chrome hood scoop coming out the front. Chrome motor and the exhaust headers running down the side. Very, very nice casting. Look at that. Nice. Last and definitely not least, oh yeah, check this out guys, the evil twin out of the Wastelanders. God, I love this casting. I don't know what it is about it, but 
This thing is super sweet. Collector number 188 out of 2003. And there we go. Nice dark red metallic. You got the ghosted tribal flames. And you got the chrome lace wheels all the way around and the two chrome blown motors. Look at that. Nice. Now I do have like four or maybe five variations of this casting. And that is just wicked. So Kevin, thank you so much for sending those. I cannot wait to get your number one racer against the tower. It's going to do very well, I feel. And if not, this Shadow Jet is definitely going to be a solid contender to go up against any one of these cars. So check this out, guys. Awesome haul. We got the Kroger exclusives, which I was stoked to get my hands on. And then the Slide Street series, which is hands down coolest premiums of 2021, in my opinion. And then of course you got the holiday cars right here, the Dodge Charger and the Ford Fairlane. Talk about an awesome haul. And then of course you got the chase pieces right here, the Bugatti Heritage set out of the, out of the Micro Machines, the M2 750 chase piece and the Greenie from green life so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did give it a huge thumbs up comment down below which one of these was your favorite especially let me know which one of these was your favorite out of the slide street series and of course the kroger exclusives and everything else in this video until next time guys this is the mustang hunter peace